It's still hard for me to believe this happened to me. I feel fortunate, unworthy, and humbled for the opportunity to do something so few people will ever experience. I'm thankful we were able to capture, through photos and video, some of the process to be able to share the son of a lifetime with anyone who cares to watch. Honestly, I cannot start this narration without first thanking my parents and all four of my grandparents for instilling within me a love of the outdoors and continuing to kindle that spark throughout my entire upbringing. The lifestyle I've chosen isn't for everyone, but the knowledge and skills I've gained as an observer of nature have directly helped me to grow and to be a better person in all areas of my life. I believe you cannot truly have a firm grounding without, at the very least, having a basic understanding of the natural world. After all, that's where life begins, in the forests, fields, and pastures. Like I said before, being immersed in the outdoors isn't for everyone, but we couldn't have city stores and fancy clubs without also having nature and agriculture. But anyway, ever since I was a young hunter, Back when mail order catalogs and monthly magazine subscriptions were the only sorts of information, I always thought the epitome of a bow hunting accomplishment would be taking a sheep with the bow. As is the case more times than not, becoming an adult causes childhood dreams to be pushed aside. I honestly hadn't even thought about hunting a sheep for years, so it was quite a surprise when I got a phone call last May letting me know that I drew a bighorn tag for here in South Dakota. I'm living proof that something like this can happen to literally anyone. So don't ever give up on your dreams, whatever they might be. Work hard for the things that matter. Compete with yourself. Trust your gut instincts. Learn and grow from your mistakes. Don't follow the crowd. Think for yourself. Be humble in your accomplishments. And with everything you do in life, always strive to give back more than you take.
just got here pulled up. Obviously the first thing I did was get the spotting scope out, set it up like it is now, look through it, and the sheep are right there, not even lying. They're probably two and a half, maybe three miles away, two and a half probably, but uh, I can't believe it, and I'm pretty 99% sure that uh, one of them in that group is not the one that I want to shoot. So, <laughs> I don't know. Pretty, pretty dumb luck, I would say, but I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna get unpacked here and, and uh, kind of get camp set up, and then maybe maybe buzz over a little closer after a while and get a little closer look at them. And
yards. There he is right there. I'm excited. But it's on me. Inside. Wow. Once in a lifetime tag, once in a lifetime hunt, once in a lifetime opportunity, I don't know. I knew last night that I was going to kill one today. And I farted around all morning long. <clears throat> Didn't really want to end it on the first day, but I knew. Thank you, God. Let's go take a look at him.